So the last part, we're going to talk about domain and range of a relation and whether a relation is a function or not. So we've got a couple problems, 37 and 39 from the study guide. Let's take a look at number 37 first. Remember, I wrote up here the domain represents the first coordinate of an ordered pair. So let's take a look at those domains in number 37. The first component of the ordered pair is the x value. These are our domains. Negative 8, 6, 2, negative 4. That's it. Just those numbers. So we list just those numbers in the domain. And so we'd write down negative 8, 6, 2, negative 4. And that's all. Well, the ranges, those represent the second component of the ordered pair. That's what it says up here. And those are the y values. So the y values are these numbers. 6, 8, 8, 8. So we don't have to represent, we don't have to rewrite all those 8s. We just need to write down 1 because the range is just asking what are the different values. And so 6 is one of the values and then 8 is the other. And that's it. Those are the only two different numbers that we have. Now we have to say whether it's a function or not. So remember, a function is when each domain, each domain has only one range. So remember, it's kind of like the soda machine. Remember, there's different buttons on a soda machine. But if you press a button, you always want to get the same answer. So when I press the number negative 8, I get 6. So that's okay. When I press the number 6, I get 8. When I press the number 2, I get 8 again. When I press the number negative 4, I get 8 again. As long as you're getting the same number each time, it's okay. It doesn't matter that you get 8 every single time. Because remember, on a Coke machine, you can have two Coke buttons, uh, and you still should get that same thing. But if you press the Coke button and got a Sprite, then you've got a problem. So we would say this is is a function. And the reason it's a function is that each domain, each domain has one range. Well, the next problem, the part that's always difficult is the domain and range of this. So let's take a look at the first part. Now, when we're talking about the domain, we're running along the x-axis. This is the domain axis. So when I look at it, I'm looking at the furthest number to the left, and that's negative 2. So it runs from negative 2, and it continues to go. See, it's going down. It's reaching 0 eventually, so it gets down to 0. And then it continues. And see this arrow? This means that it goes on forever. And so it's forever, forever up and right. And so it's going forever up and right. And so what that means is that we have no end. It continues on forever in that direction. So 6 is a domain, 7, 8, 9, 10, even numbers off this graph. So the way I'd write this is that the domain represents values of x again. Now here's where I have to use inequality signs because I have a graph. I've got points connected by lines or curves. So x has to be greater than or equal to, because it does equal that point as well, that negative 2. Just negative 2. I have no other boundary. Sometimes it stops right here. Then I'd have a boundary and I'd have two different numbers inside. But here it just doesn't stop. So that's all it is. Well, let's take a look at the range then. The range values... Well, that lowest number. So again, we look for the lowest number. So let's write down range. The range, the lowest number, is right here. And this is negative 2. So again, the range values are y. Lowest number is negative 2. So I list that. But then it goes up. And it, it goes up to 2, but then it continues because the line's going up this way. It continues to go on forever in that direction. So I just say that the values of y are greater than or equal to negative 2. And that's it. That's all we're going to do on those problems. Now we just need to say whether it's a function or not. And to determine that, we on graphs, it's sometimes nice to use that vertical line test.
And so the vertical line test works this way. If you cross a line, a vertical line through here, it should only cross it one time. See how it only crosses one time? You can pass any number of vertical lines through. It's only going to cross that black line one time. So since it only crosses once, it passes the vertical line test. So we say it is a function, and the reason for that is that it passes not just the line test, but the vertical, the vertical line test. And that's it. So domain is the x-coordinate, range y-coordinate, function is when each domain has only one range. If a domain repeats, typically that's not going to be a function.